Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the start for the 40 yard dash, okay? Jeb's hand's gonna be behind the line. He's gonna get in a three point stance. You know, all these, all these players have been training with different, different trainers working on their starts. As long as they're in a nice football three point stance, um, they're all set. So again, you want a nice three second pause. You get it, you re really reiterate to the players. They need that pause so the, so the NFL can get an accurate clock on their 40. So they're in their stance, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Jeb explodes out, clock start on that first, first hand movement. As soon as he fires out and that hand lifts, that's when the clocks are gonna go off. Okay, when we're talking about 40 starts, there's a couple common things that will get a player in trouble, get him whistled back uh, to restart his 40. The first is a quick start. You know, the NFL's gonna want a nice three count so they can get a clock on you. So when Jeb gets up in his stance, he just gets up and he fires right out. We're gonna whistle that back. You know, that would be whistled back at the combine. You gotta get in your stance for a nice three second count, three second pause. NFL scouts can get a clock on you. That's what we're looking for. The second is a rolling start. So Jeb's gonna get in his stance again. What it really is is a forward lean out of the stance before you pull that hand up. See, that little forward lean is called a rolling start. You see that, that's also gonna be whistled back as well. What we want is a nice three second count, fire that hand back, off you go on your 40. Okay, one important note for timing of the 40 yard dash. For anyone that's timing, they have to be on the opposite side of the videographer. You can't have anyone standing or kneeling on the finish line that would obstruct the view of the camera. So any timers be on the opposite side of the cones of the videographer so you can get a clean time. 